Before we start, a quick why. XML is a common way for software systems to exchange structured data. Your web shop, ERP, library system, or supplier portal might export information as XML because it's standardized and machine readable. Excel is where many of us analyze, clean, and share that data. Importing XML into Excel lets you turn a rigid data file into a flexible table for filtering, formulas, and charts. If the file comes with an XSD schema, you can even export back to XML in the same structure after editing. In this video, we will work with a books catalog. Each book has an ID, an author, a title, a genre, a price, and a published date. The files we'll use are catalog.xml and its matching schema catalog.xsd. Let's begin with the Power Query method, which is the fastest. Open a blank workbook in Excel and go to the Data tab. Choose Get Data, then From File, then From XML. Select the file called catalog.xml. Excel now opens a window called The Navigator. On the left, you will see a folder with the file name catalog.xml. Under that folder is a table called Book. You must click on Book to continue. Only then will the preview area on the right show the rows and columns from the XML file. And only then will the Load and Transform Data buttons at the bottom become active. If you don't select the table, those buttons stay grayed out and you cannot proceed. Once you have selected the book table, you can either click Load to send it straight to Excel or Transform Data to make adjustments. Click Transform Data to check the columns. In Power Query, confirm that price is treated as a decimal number and Publish Date is recognized as a proper date. If you see the ID column, keep it because it is very useful for lookups later. When everything looks right, choose Close and Load. The books are now in Excel as a clean table, ready to analyze. Now let's look at XML maps, which give you more control over the layout and allow you to export back to XML. Go back to the blank sheet, then enable the Developer tab if you don't already have it showing. Go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and turn on Developer. Go to the Developer tab and click Source. In the XML Source pane, choose XML Maps, then add, select Catalog.xsd, click Open and then click OK. This schema tells Excel exactly how the books file is structured. In the XML source pane, you will see a node called book containing the ID attribute, author, title, genre, price, and publish date. Drag the book node onto an empty area of the worksheet and Excel creates a repeating table with columns for those elements. Now go to the developer tab, click import, choose catalog.xml and click on import. The books instantly fill the map table. The advantage of XML maps is that you can export back to XML after editing. Make any changes you need directly in the map table. I just copy the whole table. Then go to the Developer tab and click Export. Excel opens a Save As window and asks where to put the new XML file. Choose a folder, confirm the file name and click on Export. If you pick the same folder where catalog.xml is stored, you will find the new XML there alongside the original file. To wrap up, Power Query is quick and excellent for analysis, while XML maps are the better choice when you want a fixed layout and the ability to export data back in the same structure. Both methods transform structured XML into something you can work with confidently in Excel. XML to Excel is especially valuable if you are the person in the middle, receiving structured data from one system, making sense of it in Excel, and often sending it back again. It saves time Time, ensures consistency, and turns machine-readable files into clear workable information for everyday analysis. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and subscribe to Excel Hive for more practical Excel guides. And as always, happy Excelling!